Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. This is Teacher Nim. Today, didiscuss ko sa inyo kung paano ba hinahanap ang GCF and LCM using continuous division. Actually, this lesson is requested by Maria Christine Ponce. Kung nanonood ka ngayon, this lesson is for you. And to every one of you who's watching right now, uh, sana makatulong ako sa inyo. Alright, let's begin! Doon sa una kong ginawang tutorial video in finding the greatest common factor or the GCF of two numbers, I told you to list down the first five prime numbers. So, ganun ulit yung gagawin natin dito. Lista natin. Ang first five prime numbers, you have 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. And then, gamitin na lang natin yung una kong example, yung 24 and 60. Right? Kukuhanin natin ngayon ang greatest common factor and least common multiple ng 24 and 60. Paano? So, ganito. Yung first 5 prime numbers na yan, yan ang magsisilbing divisor natin. Sa pag-divide natin, dun sa dalawang numbers, nahahanapan natin ng greatest common factor and LCM. Kailangan, yung dalawang numbers na yon ay divisible dun sa gagamitin nating divisor. Kapag hindi, move lang tayo ng move doon. Alright? 24 and 60, divisible ba parehas ito by 2? Yes. Kasi parehas silang even number. 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. 60 divided by 2 is equal to 30. Next, try natin kung divisible parehas ulit by 2. Since uh, even number sila parehas, divisible sila by 2. Kaya divide natin ulit parehas by 2. 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. 30 divided by 2 is equal to 15. Now, yung isa dito ay add number na. So, obviously, hindi sila parehas divisible by 2. Try natin yung 3. Yung 6 ba is divisible by 3? Yes. How about 15? Yes. Kaya, i-divide natin siya parehas by 3. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. And 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Next, yung 2 and 5 ba divisible parehas by 2? No. How about 3? Hindi pa rin. 5? Hindi pa rin. Kasi yung 5 lang. Obviously, yung 7 and 11, hindi. Kaya, stop na tayo dito. Alright? In finding the greatest common factor using continuous division, imu-multiply natin lahat ng nasa left. Okay? So, you have 2, 2, and 3. Para makita natin ang GCF or greatest common factor ng 24 and 60. So, you have 2 times 2 times 3. Saan nga ito galing? Ito yan. Alright? Imu-multiply lang natin sila. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And then, multiply natin yung 3. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Therefore, the greatest common factor of 24 and 60 is 12. Alright, so ngayon naman ay hahanapin natin ang least common multiple ng 24 and 60. How? Paano natin hahanapin ang least common multiple ng 24 and 60? using continuous division. So, nagawa na natin yan. Nahanap na natin kanina yung GCF. Minultiply natin lahat ng nasa left. Ngayon naman, to find the least common multiple or the LCM of 24 and 60, i-multiply lang natin ito. So, para madali yung tandaan, we're looking here for the LCM, yung letter L. Yung L shape na nakuha natin, Lahat ng yan ay imu-multiply natin to get the least common multiple of 24 and 60. So, we have 2, 2, 3, 2, and 5. Imu-multiply lang natin yan lahat. Again, to find the least common multiple of 24 and 60, imultiply lang natin yung sa paletter L na to. You have 2 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 5. 2 times 2 is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 5. 4 times 3 is equal to 12 times 2 times 5. 
12 times 2 is equal to 24 times 5. Then 24 times 5, 24 times 5, 2, and then 120. Alright? So, ang least common multiple ng 24 and 60 is 120. Okay, so now let's have another example. So, this time, tatlo na yung numbers natin. We have 36, 60, and 90. Ulitin lang natin kung paano yung ginawa natin kanina, but this time, meron ilang pagbabago. Alright, makinig mabuti. So, yung 36, 60, and 90 is divisible by 2, right? So, i-divide natin sila lahat by 2. 36 divided by 2 is equal to 18. 60 divided by 2 is equal to 30. And 90 divided by 2 is equal to 45. Next. Divisible ba tong tatlo na to by 2? Okay, so hindi because yung 45 ay isang add number. By 3. Yes, divisible sila ng tatlo by 3. So, i-divide natin sila by 3. 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6. 30 divided by 3 is equal to 10. 45 divided by 3 is equal to 15. Alright, so... Yung 6, 10, at 15 ba ay divisible by 2? Lahat. No. 3? Hindi rin. 6 at 15 lang. 5. Yung 10 at 15 lang. How about 7? No. And 11, hindi pa rin. Okay, so stop na tayo dyan for the GCF. Alright? Para makuha natin yung GCF, sabi ko sa inyo, yung nakuha natin dito sa left, multiply lang natin. So, ang GCF ng 36, 60, and 90 is 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Alright, so this time, hanapin naman natin ang least common multiple ng 36, 60, and 90. Kanina dun sa GCF, nag-stop tayo dito sa 6, 10, and 15 kasi wala ng common factor silang tatlo. Sa LCM, pwede natin itong i-continue. So, paano? Yung 6, 10, and 15, wala ng common factor, pero yung 6 at 10 ay divisible pa rin by 2 parehas. Okay? So, i-divide natin by 2. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3, and 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Since yung 15 ay hindi siya divisible by 2, i-bring down lang natin siya. Alright? And then, tingnan natin ulit. 3, 5, and 15. Yung 5 and 15 ay divisible by 5. So, pwede natin siyang i-divide sa 5. I-bring down lang natin yung 3. Since hindi naman siya divisible by 5. And then, 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. Next, Yung 3 and 3 is divisible by 3. So, we are going to divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. And then, bring down 1. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. And then, kuha natin to lahat. Kanina, ba sabi ko sa inyo, pag kinukuha natin yung LCM using continuous division, yung pa L-shape na mapoform natin, lahat ng numbers sa loob nun, multiply natin. Okay? So, we have... 2 times 3 times 2 times 5 times 3 and then i-apply nyo na lang yung identity property of multiplication since 1 naman ito. Okay? Multiply natin lahat. We have 2 times 3 is equal to 6. 6 times 2 is equal to 12. 12 times 5 is equal to 60 and 60 times 3 is equal to 180. And then 180 times 1 is equal to 180. Sabi ko sa inyo kanina, apply nyo na lang yung identity property of multiplication since 1 naman nito. Therefore, the LCM of 36, 60, and 90 is 180. Alright, to the girl who requested for this video, I hope natuto ka sa video na to. And to all those na nanood ng video na to, maraming salamat po. I hope natulungan ko po kayo. Kung natuto ka sa lesson na to, pakiclick mo ang like button and please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell para updated ka sa lahat ng tutorial videos ko. Thank you and stay healthy!